I've brought a friend with me today to the cathedral. She's quite shy, and so I have to see if she'll come out and meet you. She gets a bit scared in new places. She gets a bit scared when she doesn't know who's going to be there in case the people that are there are not very friendly to her. I wonder if you've ever felt like that, a little bit worried, a little bit nervous, a little bit not sure when you go somewhere, who's going to be your friend? I feel really sure that you will be kind to my friend and that you will help her to see that even though things have not been great in the past for her, that you really, really want to help to make them better in the future. Let me see if she'll come out and meet you. Her name's Flossie. Floss. Floss, will you come out and meet the kids? She's thinking about it. She said she'd come and say hello, but it just might take her a minute before she's really brave enough. She tries to hide in under my arm when she's scared. I wonder if you sometimes try and hide behind somebody when you're not feeling very confident. This is my friend, Flossie. She's a possum. And the reason she gets a bit nervous when she doesn't know who she's going to meet is because she used to live in this really great tree and she loved that tree and all her family were really close by and they could, um, they could speak their language to each other and practice all their traditional uh, and cultural practices together and do the things that they loved to do. And then some other people came and they said, we want this spot. You have to go. This is ours now. And so Flossie and her family, they got moved away, pushed to the edges. And then they were told, well, you're a pest. You're a nuisance. We don't like the way you do things. And Flossie and her family started to wonder if it was okay to be a possum at all. Because they'd lost the place that they lived. They'd been scattered and removed and they were starting to lose their precious language and the special ceremonies that they did together. And you'd think that that was bad enough, wouldn't you? But then, people started saying, well, we'd like you if you behaved like a cat, because we like cats. We can train them and get them to do what we want them to do. So, if you behave like a cat, we might like you more. But Flossie didn't want to be a cat. She wanted to keep being a possum. Because possums are really special. And that's what it's been like for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people too. Other people came and took their land and told them that they couldn't speak in their language or participate in their cultural and traditional celebrations anymore, pushed them off to the side. And then they said, well, we'll accept you if you behave like us, like white people. And so they were forced to change who they were if they wanted to have a job, 
or go to school. Which isn't very fair, is it? What we know now is that Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people are really special. And their stories and culture and traditions and language are something for us all to treasure and for us all to learn from. This year, the theme for National Reconciliation Week is all in this together. Which is a little bit funny because that's something that people have been saying about COVID-19, isn't it? They've been saying, we're all in this together. And it's true. But what we've learnt is that we're all in the storm together, but we have very, very different boats, don't we? Some people have great big ships and it's easy to weather the storm. And other people have little leaky rowboats and it's really, really hard. Well, that's the story of reconciliation too. Some people have amazing big ships, but lots of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, their boats have been battered and bits stolen off them. But you and I, we, together, with all of the people in Australia, we can help to make everybody's boat safe. We can help to make everybody's boat something really amazing. And the best bit about that is that God, through Jesus, shows us that we don't have to take away from our own boat to make somebody else's boat better, necessarily. Just by helping and sharing and loving and trying to make right, through the name of Jesus, everybody's boat becomes more glorious than we could ever expect. Flossie says she doesn't really like boats very much. <laughs> but she'd be very happy if you made a special place in your garden for her. She'd be really happy with that. And she would love to come and visit you. So this National Reconciliation Week, remembering that we're all in this together, remember the power that you have to change lives through love and learning and respect.